So this is what I want to talk about as far as like, um, goodness and helping others. See, when I started helping others, I only helped others because knowing how it actually felt to be them. But it wasn't genuinely trying to actually help them, like help them, help them, because I'm like, you could get out of this. But I genuinely helped because I related to what they was going through. I knew how they felt from my experience. So I wasn't really helping them for them. I was truly trying to help them to heal myself through them. So I'm figuring the more I help them, the more it would be helping me that's still stuck. And inside them, because I feel like my spirit was in them. Like, yo, they going through this, and I could feel, I could relate to it. So that means somewhere inside of me, I'm still going through that. So I'm gonna help them because that's helping me. And that's what it truly was. In fact, every person that I did help, that's what it truly was. It was really helping me. So when I see others say, "Oh, I want to help people and be there for people," and they really don't mean that. Because how could you actually be there for somebody and really help somebody when you don't truly know what they're going through? So that means you can't really, well, not even can't even help them, but you're not really helping them. You're really doing something of kind of a, a really a weird intent because you're doing it to try to suffice some type of guilt you got inside. You're like, oh, if I help them, then I'll feel good about myself. So you're only helping them to feel good about feeling bad about yourself. You're not truly helping them because to truly help them is to actually be in their shoes. See, when I helped someone, I actually knew what they was going through. Like seeing somebody on the street struggling, seeing somebody going through emotional rage and really going through like times where they got to persevere. Nobody there, no support. They pushed away. They thrown away. They stepped on and they left alone and nobody cared. So I know what that's truly like. I, I know what that's like. But when other people help people, they don't even know what that's like. They don't know what it is to not have a home. They don't know what it is to not have support, not have some form of structure at all. They helping people from a good place. So you really not helping them. Because if you truly want to help somebody, you got to be able to help them on their level. You can't help them on your level. See, people help people on their level and think that they help them. It's like, nah, you really doing that to really mask your true intent and that's just for you to do something to feel good about not feeling good about yourself and it's to build your own weird repertoire and 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 weird prideful ways to get people to look at you and like you a good samaritan but that's really not the truth because if you look at everybody you help they still need help so you you ain't really helped them see when i really help somebody they don't ever need me in that same way i help them again like ever and that's what true help is. So when people helping people, they're not really helping people. They're really just trying to help themselves. And then when it backfired on them, they say, oh, people just using me or misusing me, however they want to put it. It's like, nah, what they're doing is exposing what you was trying to do to them. You was trying to manipulate them for your own benefit and it backfired. So that's what this is really about. That's what this healing journey is about.